All right, so we're really fortunate today to be working with our preserved and plasminated cadaver. And I always like to take a moment to think about this individual and the many others who have donated their bodies so that we can have this chance to study them and learn a lot more about how our own anatomy and physiology work. What I want to show you today is in the, is the posterior or the back part of the chest cavity. You can see the diaphragm down here that's been cut away. So from here up, it's the chest cavity. The heart and lungs have been removed. And we're look, gonna be looking at where the spinal, what we can see of the spinal nerves. Appreciate that these are the vertebral bodies. You can see almost see those intervertebral discs between them. And of course, posterior to the vertebral bodies or is, is gonna be the vertebral arch with the spinal nerves coming off. And what, of course, we could see that posteriorly, but what we see here inside the chest is where the spinal nerve continues out through the intervertebral foramen, and you can see them coming off the segmental spinal or intercostal nerves here. Appreciate that those nerves are running in the subcostal groove. Here's a great example of that. You can see the rib right there. You can see another rib sitting right above it, the intercostal muscles between it. And notice that this spinal nerve goes right into the underside of that rib or what's called the subcostal groove. And of course that spinal nerve as it runs along here will be giving off both muscular or motor branches to control the intercostal muscles and sensory branches out to the skin on the back and the nerve would come all the way around, even all the way to the front to that particular dermatome or skin segment and uh, along with the motor branches going to the muscles. So that's what we can see of those spinal nerves or intercostal nerves running along the inside of the chest cavity. Just behind the thin layer here is gonna be that parietal pleura, the serous lining that covers the entire inside of the ribs and intercostal muscles. So just a quick review, we're looking inside the chest cavity, superior to the diaphragm, at the vertebral bodies. Behind there is where the spinal nerve would be, the spinal cord would be located, and we can see where the spinal nerves come off in the intervertebral foramen, running along the subcostal groove just below the ribs of each body segment through the chest cavity, and they would come all the way around to the front. Thanks.